Great commission, great compassion, following Jesus and loving the world. That is what Paul Borthwick is all about. And that's what he is encouraging us to be about. We've kind of kept you hanging in case the term world Christian is new, maybe confusing. Paul, what is a world Christian? Well, the, the term got originated back in the 80s uh, by another guy named Dave Bryant. But basically, it's a person who lives and is concerned for God's world, not just for Moira 316 or 313, whatever it was, <laughs> oh, yeah. you know, but basically, little world. Not, not just our own families, but the fact that God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. And so our prayers, our giving, our sacrifice, our relationships, we're looking for the people that have come into our midst because God loves the world, and we're going as, as witnesses into the world. But it's basically a worldview that says basically that the world is bigger than just where I live. Isn't it essentially taking the Great Commission seriously? It's taking the Great Commission seriously. To Jesus make, said it first. Make disciples of all the nations, you know, be witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, the ends of the earth. The ends of the earth. And, uh, and bottom line is it it's, takes us away from what I might call selfish Christianity. Because oh. there are worldly Christians who you can't tell the difference between them and people in the world. And then there are world Christians who are living and giving and going as if the world was God's place. Mm. And we can't illustrate maybe convincingly in this moment, which is all we have, but our job isn't to try to change the whole world. And it's easy to be overwhelmed by the needs of the world and figure, sure. what difference can I make? And yet, when you step into that, that heart, that worldview, that obedience, it's so fulfilling. It's fulfilling for one. If it's only for one, it's worth it. And, and the, the globalization of our world, the migration of peoples, the refugees, the immigrants, what that means is what used to be exclusively for missionaries to cross a culture and go reach a Hindu, Buddhist, or Muslim for Jesus, now doesn't mean to go in across an ocean. It means going across the street. Exactly. Uh, Dr. David Jeremiah, I heard him say just a few weeks ago about refugees. We need to accept them. We need to assimilate them, and we need to assist them. Exactly. Easy to remember those three A's. Yeah. Your well, heart. I was a stranger, and you visited me. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me in. There you go. I mean, it's, it's just an unprecedented opportunity. A Toronto pastor actually said to me, Jesus commanded us to go into all the world. We didn't go, so he's bringing all the world to us. Exactly. And, uh, and, and any major city knows that that it's an opportunity unparalleled in Christian history. You know, there's a scripture we all know and love. I have a mug with the first part of this verse on it. Psalm 46, 10, mm. be still and know that I am God. But the rest of the verse says, I will be honored by every nation. I will be honored throughout the world. Paul, that requires our obedience. Absolutely, and participation. Thank you for the encouragement. Great commission, great compassion. You have another book coming, so maybe we'll be seeing you before too long. Okay. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank we need you. to be stirred up. It's time to live to the full now for the king and his kingdom. Amen.